Hi guys and welcome back to another War Thunder plane review. Today we're taking a look at the Japanese F-86 F-30 Sabre. This of course is literally just a cut and paste of the American F-86 F-25 Sabre. And what makes this different than that Sabre? Other than the fact that it goes in an extra whopping 5 miles per hour, pretty much nothing. So if you are an American jet player and you have the F-86 F-25 uh, Sabre sorry, unlocked, you've basically got this jet too. Now, I know normally I'm going to start, usually start off, people start off their reviews starting off on the low tiers and working their way up. I am going to start doing reviews from the higher tiers and working my way down. Why? Simply put, if you are just new to the game, and hello new player, you really don't want to have to go wade through all these countless planes just to get to a plane that you're going to hate or like. So plain and simple, this is why I'm starting with the Japanese, of course. I, now, unfortunately, I do not have the RTY2K uh, car V3. However, the V3 is basically the V2 with a minor tweak to the flight model. So that's okay. So look forward to seeing those reviews here soon. But let's get back to the Sabre. Now, the Sabre was originally built in 1949 and last saw service in 1996 with the Bulgarian Air Force. Yes, 1996. This jet was still flying in 1996 it was still flying in the Gulf War the first Gulf War I might add from World War II to the Gulf War just mind blown so how does this jet play well if you want to see any combat footage of it click on the video that's up here and you'll get it'll take you to another video it will pause this video so you can go check out the gameplay footage now what does this jet have over others speed no Climb rate, no. Dive rate, no. This jet can roll. Basically, a, a full roll is taking the uh, right wing tip and rotating it around 130, uh, 160, 360 degrees. Almost forgot my degrees there for a minute there. And what does that entail? Dog fighting. If you get an enemy on your six, you will not out -pull, You will not pull away from them. Get that out of your head right now. Well, I've got a jet engine. Yeah, but so is they. Their jet engine, ninety percent of the time, is better than your jet engine. They are not going to outpull them. Well, I'll outclimb them. You're not going to outclimb them. If you cannot naturally beat them going straight, what on earth makes you think you're going to beat them with your nose an incline? You just made it too easy for them. This jet is a wolf pack jet. It is better off hunting with allies rather than by itself. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any footage of this jet platooned up with other jets because most everyone else in my clan usually doesn't have jets of the same battle rating. Now, speaking of battle rating, this jet has a battle rating of 7.7. .7. I believe that that battle rating is broken. I believe that this jet's battle rating should be round about the 6.5, 6.6 mark. Nowhere near 7.7s. .7. Why do you say this, Cobra? Well, plain and simple. It has six 50 caliber machine guns in the nose, of which it only has, okay, and, and this is the issue here. It, it can carry 16 127 millimeter rockets or two 1,000 pound bombs, but it's useless as a dive bomber. It's useless as a tank hunter. So you can't use the rockets on the tanks, you can't use the rockets on the bombers, because the majority of the bombers you are going to come across are jet powered, which means you already have drag from those bombs, from those rockets, you're not going to catch them. Jet bombers are built for speed, you're just not going to catch them. So basically, I wouldn't bother taking any kind of loadout. No bombs, no rockets, just use the six, six machine guns. But the problem with that is, you're going so fast, that when you try to get a, a, a target, on, you know, to get on target, your bullets are either falling way too short or overshooting the target. They need to figure out an issue. It, it's an issue with either the flight mechanics or the gun model itself. But plain and simple, if you are shooting at a target that's 400 yards, bump your gun targeting reticle to about 600, and you will hit targets at 400 yards because your shells just drop either way too much or overshoot the target. They don't hit where you want them to go. And you're going to have to use your throttle controls of all things. I'll repeat that again. Your throttle controls to try and keep those guns on target. So you're actually slowing your jet down or speeding your jet up 
to keep your gun sights on target. It is my opinion, it is a flight model issue, if anything. So the guns don't hit anything, and when the guns do hit anything, you're not going to destroy a target that's a jet. You're mainly just going to tick it off. Unless, of course, you either pilot snipe or set the thing on fire. Which is why, in my loadout, I have it set with tracers. And I have the G suit. I have everything unlocked for this jet, as you can clearly see, guys. Everything. So, I've had about six, seven games. Of course, I've only recorded a few of them. Again, you'll see that video box appear over here. Click on that. It'll, you'll see the combat footage of me flying the jet. And what does this jet have over other jets? Well, plain and simple. In my honest opinion, the KI-200 and the Kika are better off. Why? Because they have cannons. They have weapons that the velocity of the weapons are on par to its speed. 50 caliber machine guns are not going to hit the target unless they're wing mounted, which these aren't. These are nose mounted. So I've found that the majority of the kills and hits I've gotten is when the target is turning. If the target is straight or you're straight, you're not going to hit the target you are moving too fast or the target is moving too fast for your ammunition to hit so if in doubt try and get them to turn make a few bursts force them to turn that's when you know you're going to hit them because they themselves have slowed down if you're hitting a moving target it's too fast you're not going to hit them period it's the only tips i can give you with this jet other than that wolf pack Get in a platoon with friends. Get into a, 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 a platoon with clan mates that have the same jet. They will tell you it is a wolf packing jet. You want one jet to be the target, the, the worm on the hook, so to say. And when that enemy shark or enemy fish tries to take a bite at you, have friendly swipe. Try and get them to turn so that your third friendly can take them out. It's the only way you're going to do it. It's the only way, my, my friends. And anyway, can I recommend this jet? No, I can't. I cannot recommend it in its current form. Is it a boom and zoomer? Is it a turn fighter? It is predominantly a turn fighter. It is not a boom and zoomer. Even with the jet engine, it is not a boom and zoomer. And whatever you do, now, crew skills. This is what this comes in. Make sure that your G-forces are maxed out please and that your stamina and your pilot's health is maxed out which doesn't help you by the way because you will get pilot sniper cannons anyway and it just this is useless vitality at this level is useless you will just get knocked out anyway guys make sure that your crew is 100 percent and aced my crew is not my, my my crew is basic because i just don't have the funds now how much will it cost to get your crew qualification above it'll cost you almost two million lions i'll repeat that two million lions it's not cheap but then again jets aren't cheap so other than that the battle rating needs a tweak the weapons need a tweak or the flight model needs a tweak in its current form so is it a keep is it is it a hit is it a miss it's a miss in my honest opinion i wouldn't get i wouldn't aim for this jet if you're aiming for sabers, go the American route. If you're a Japanese fighter, trust me, end it with the Kika, end it at the Ki-200, and end it at the R2-Y2s, because they have cannons. They all have cannons. Kika has cannons, Ki-200 has cannons, R2-Y2s have cannons. Saber does not. The Saber is definitely a miss. It is a turn fighter. It, a jet turn fighter kind of sounds ridiculous, I know, but that's exactly what it is, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, I hope this video review was good for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If this review wasn't good for you, you know what? Get the jet, try it out, come back, and then you'll find out if I'm right or not. But ultimately, guys, I'm going to end this review here with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next review, which should be the Kika. And if the review is out, you will see a video of it right here. Click it, and it will take you to that review. If not, wait till the ending credits and check out my playlists. Again, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Of course, biggest weakness is the upper, uh, the upper 
uh, uh, chassis with it only being 16 millimeters. So you've got to be careful of artillery, even light artillery will will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately. So don't give your opponents your sides if you if you can't you know if you can't help it. Same as the tar tarp's not really that strong, but it does have some sort of angling to it, 25 degree angling. So you know, unless you're going down the hill with you know.